How you doing, YouTube family, man? Ant-Man here, back with another video. I know it's been a while, it's been a while, but I've been extremely busy putting in a lot of work, discussing a lot of business with businesses. So, of course, it's going to take up a lot of my time, okay? Um, but anyway, I'm going to just cut right to it. Um, the basic way uh, to make money from home without, you know, worrying about marketing budgets and Facebook ad campaigns and, you know, buying this and buying that and purchasing MLM leads or trying to find free ways to, to, to you know, get your business out there without all the headaches in the world. What's the first thing that a normal person usually thinks about when they want to market their business or, you know, discuss stuff, you know, discuss about have discussions about the product and service, okay? You probably already know what I'm about to say. If you think it's friendly with voicemail, it's not. What it is, it's cold calling. I'm going to be completely honest with you. When I started with sales and marketing uh, almost nine years ago, um, the first thing I learned was the basics, you know, picking up the phone, uh, following the script to the team, making the script your own, getting past the gatekeeper, a.k.a. the receptionist, um, getting the business owner on the phone and pitching the business owner, the CEO, CFO, store manager, whatever, about a product or service that is beneficial to their business, okay? That is one of the most easiest things that you ever in your life can do. It does not cost you a dime to pick up the phone. There are people that are spending thousands a week, okay, or a couple hundred a week to get clicks. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not looking for clicks. I'm looking to speak with business owners, people that make decisions, okay, and by me speaking to these business owners on a daily basis, I'm building relationships with corporate People, okay, people that are high up, people that make the decisions, okay, people that hire and fire people, all right, people that make investments in business opportunities, people that make investments in buying businesses, buying buildings, okay. I want to talk to those people. Cold calling, video chatting, and going to the business, you actually getting up out of your house and going to the business. It's probably the best ways that you can market your business, to be honest with you, because I'm coming from a business consulting background, okay? I don't mind talking to nobody about no business at all. I never have and I never will be. And I'm not shy about, um, I'm not shy, I'm not going to shy away from offering something that I believe is beneficial to the business. I mean, I don't understand it sometimes. You know, I got a phone call the other day and she was just like, you know, I was paying so much money for marketing and I've got a lot of clicks, you know, but people are signing up for my businesses. I'm emailing them. Nobody's emailing me back. Um, a couple of times she went on the website and uh, she sent an email to, uh, you know, the email that was presented on the website and she got a failed response. So I'm telling her that, well, it's a dead email and um, they probably don't use that email anymore. And you need to stick to the basics. You need to not worry. You need to not worry about how much budget you have to market your business. Some people don't have a budget. They don't have any money, okay? What is the easiest thing that you can do to market your business? You can pick up your cellular device, whether it's an Android phone or it's an iPhone, and you can call the business that is there and speak with them directly, okay? I have built wonderful relationships over the years just by picking up the same phone, okay? I need to get a new phone. Like I had this phone for three years, but guys, look, I've built some wonderful relationships with insurance salesmen, people that own call centers, CEOs, okay, uh, store managers, florists, people that have e-commerce sites, people that are eBay sellers, um, they market Amazon products, people that are insurance, people that are real estate agents and investors, uh, people that are property locators, 
I mean, the list goes on. Online business professionals, various entrepreneurs in various different industries across the country, okay? This phone right here has bought me more money than anything I've ever done, okay? Because I'm not afraid to pick up this phone. I cannot stress this enough, okay? I've made $800 a pop, $1,200 a pop, $1,600, five grand, you know. I mean, the list goes on. Per close on sales, I've done many different business opportunities. I've had companies contacting me to help them market their business. I've done so much with this phone here. This. While people are sitting around, sifting through cash, trying to figure out something else to help them with their business, you are the person that can help your business. Your mouthpiece, you're bumping your gums to your best friend all day. You're bumping your gums to your sister and your dad and your mama who's not paying you a dime. Don't waste your time. Call a business. Promote your opportunity. Pitch to them, okay? Talk to them. You never know the outcome, okay? Yes, it's hard to get past the gatekeeper sometimes. Yes, they are a pain in the behind sometimes, okay? But you never know. Nine times out of ten, that business owner is way nicer than the receptionist, okay? And I've actually had business owners actually sort of cuss out the receptionist from not um, sort of cussing out the receptionist because they didn't catch uh, me through to them sooner. So I'm telling you, okay? Cold calling 101 basics, okay? It is the easiest thing that you could ever do, okay? It's easy. You have to do something. If you do not have any money to market your business, if you don't have any money to market your business, you have a cellular device. Even if you don't have a phone plan and you have Wi-Fi, get Google Voice, okay? Get Google Voice. Google Voice is a free number, okay? I have that attached to my phone. I'll call the business from my Google Voice number, and then they'll leave me a voicemail, and then I know it's from a business because it's on my Google Voice account, and it's not on my cell phone. So I get to keep business and my personal life completely separate. Sometimes, of course, as you know, I can give out my cell phone number, which is fine. But when I'm calling a specific type of business, sometimes I use a Google Voice number, okay? It's good to keep it separate sometimes, all right? But this phone right here has brought me thousands of dollars, okay, in days and weeks and months. I mean, this right here is the money maker, okay? This is the tool that I've been using for a very long time. This device, just a phone, all right? A lot of you do too much these days trying to find all of this extra stuff to try to, you know, market your business. Who knows better than you? Who knows better than you to market your business? Learn about your product, learn about your service. Get your behind on this phone, okay? Call the business, all right? And talk to them. They're either going to say, no, I'm okay right now, or I don't need your services, or I have somebody else. Whatever, you know, if you didn't create rebuttals or, you know, when you're facing, you know, you, you don't have objections or anything like that, you need to make some, okay, because rebuttals and objections is really important when you're doing phone sales, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. I'm telling you right now, if you start calling these businesses and they're quick to say no, no, we're okay. Get an email. Get a cell phone number, okay? Try to set an appointment. Try to do something. Okay, get as much information as you possibly, as you possibly can. You can care less about the gatekeeper. Why? Because they're not important. You don't want to talk to them. You want to talk to the business owner because the business owner is the one that writes the receptionist checks. I want to talk to the top guy. I want to talk to the top woman. I want to talk to the boss man. All right? Once you get comfortable over the phone, there is nothing, there's no way that you can't make money. I spent a whole month calling businesses. And I've made a lot of money just by doing it. Okay. There is a lot of opportunities right now to where you can call businesses, set them up, right? You know, uh, 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 you could be like a referral. You can refer to, you can refer that business to the company, and you can get thousands of dollars a pop just by making one phone call. Some of you guys are like inches away from a ten thousand dollar checks because you're not picking up the phone. Okay? I'm not I'm not asking for you to be an outbound cold call killer. 
cold calling, cold calling, cold calling. Hey, whatever you want to call it. This right here is something that you should really start doing. Because even if you market your phone, even if you market your, your uh, business to ring this voicemail, you got to call them back to close the sale in the first place. So if you're not comfortable with the phone, how are you going to close the sale? I don't like the way my voice sounds. Okay, you don't like the way your voice sounds. All right. So you want somebody else to keep closing yourself. Now, I'm here to tell you, as an entrepreneur, we get busy. We're not going to be able to close yourself every time someone calls you. Uh, we're not going to be able to close yourself every time somebody calls us. So wouldn't it be nice for you to be able to take ownership of your own business that you made an investment in? Take responsibility, okay? Stop being scared. Stop being hesitant. It's your business. If you don't do anything, you don't make any money. That's the way it is. How hungry are you? Where do you want to see yourself in the next five years? You got bills that need to be paid in three weeks. You need to get the ball rolling. You need to get it together. Pick up this phone. Start making calls. Okay? Start making calls. Man, I came to a point where I'm making like 250 calls a day. I don't care. See, I don't mind doing that. But I don't care what technology I come up with. I'm still going to be straight old school. I'm still going to be using this phone. All right? Still. This phone is my best friend, man. I'm telling you. This phone right here is my best friend. It's a big phone. It's old. <laughs> but this right here is my best friend, okay? Make your cell phone your best friend. And I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Once you master uh, and you're very knowledgeable about your products and your services and what you're operating and what you can bring to the table, about your opportunity, whatever it is that you're promoting, make your cell phone your best friend. When you make yourself on your best friend, you will never be broke. This is Anthony. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, I promise you I'm going to post more. I am extremely busy, so if you do end up calling me and I don't pick up, I highly urge that you please leave me a voicemail, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay, I have at least about like 12 people I have to contact back, um, and I'm going to contact them back. So I'm going to contact six back today, and I'm going to contact six back tomorrow. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for watching our videos. Take care. Please like, subscribe, support me, and I will support you. God bless everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend.